I have one thought. I'm not doing any more sewing projects for this RV. I have a knot in my head from where I bonked myself on the dining room table and I'm glad this one's done. Hey everybody! Thanks for joining us today. We are continuing on our mission to prepare for this uh, North American road trip. Today we are tackling making new curtains for the windshield in the RV. Uh, the RV had 20 year old, almost 16 year old. I'm going to guess they're probably original. Yeah, 16 year old curtains, the ones that you pull around to close the front windshield. Very 80s and 90s. Yeah, and starting to look, I mean they still looked okay but they were pretty worn. And so we picked up some uh, thermal uh, blackout blind curtains at Costco. And we are noticing the difference between the way <laughs> his mind works and the way her mind works. Uh, we're doing these measurements and she's working from the size of the material on down and my mind works from the length that we need, plus the extra material need to make it look nice and hemmed. So mm -hmm. yeah, but we both came up with the same numbers. So that's good. That's a relief, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just a completely right different there. equation going on in each other's head. <laughs> so we've got the sewing machine all set up. I went and picked up enough of the uh, colored thread that we need to make sure we get through the project. We have all of the measurements and That'll be a and decent project. then we'll be done. Yeah. It's going to take a bit. But um, we found these really nice curtains at Costco and we're having to modify them a little bit. But truthfully, after making the curtains for all of the windows in the RV, I knew there was no way that we could buy the material and the backing and the batting and everything for the price of these curtains. Well, yeah, these were... Roughly each box of two panels was $25 mm -hmm. each at Costco. So for 50 bucks we're making <clears throat> these new And our curtains. labor, of course. Yeah. But we didn't want to get the same type of uh, curtains in the motor home because they mm -hmm. do sell those exact pleated they do. And 80s they, style they still. Looked, but, but they looked, but they look so old-fashioned. Yeah. They're just not hip or modern or anything. And we're trying to... Make it feel more like home if yeah. we're going to live in it for six months. Yeah without going as far as painting the walls and redoing I the cabinets. I might talk him into it. Still. My tailbone, you are going to talk <laughs> me into that one. I'm not going to do that on something that's not our dream motorhome. On our dream motorhome, we won't need to paint the Exactly. Walls. Now, if we had a, like a classy old Airstream mm -hmm. and we were like fixing it up as like a vintage thing, definitely we'll go for that, but not some late 90s standard motorhome that's not really our dream one. Okay. Alright, stay tuned. These are the old drapes that came out of the motorhome. You know, I would call them the uh, category of good from far but far from good. Uh, they're borderline disgusting, the amount of dust that came off them. So yeah, this uh, project really needed to be done. seven hours ago we started this um, and it was going very smoothly we got everything cut and pinned and then we went to um, sew the first bit and the sewing machine made this huge clattering sound and I broke a needle and the whole shebang and so we've spent a good bit of time I called my mom I called my friend Kristen I was looking in the owner's manual I was looking at stuff on um, YouTube and we finally figured out what was wrong and I don't even remember at this point <laughs> but I finally um, got the two pieces sewn together and now I'm um, sewing the the little fold over piece down and I'm so tired I can't even think of the right term for that. Day two of our curtain making endeavors let me preface this with, I have officially made enough curtains to last for a couple decades now. <laughs> uh, we finally have got the sewing machine working again. It's, there were some hiccups with it yesterday. Yeah. Bobbin issues? 
bobbin issues, tension issues. Uh, it's not a sewing YouTube channel, but we'll just leave it at bobbin issues. Yeah. And a lot of F words, I think, were said. <laughs> well, it hurts when you poke yourself with sharp needles. S words also, included in that. <laughs> okay. I think you should and, have your share of them too. And moving on. It should have taken really like an hour. It's taken such an enormous amount of time because of the sun machine. Which has worked perfectly for a decade. And not today. Or yesterday. Alright, we'll show you the finished product here in a little while. When you have 140 inches of curtain, you have no choice but to do this on the floor. Can you pull that top down there? Thanks. Well, we're all finished now with one. This is the uh, curtain that will go on the driver's side track. And you can see we have two colors. This will be back by the side uh, windows, and this will pull around to be on the front windshield. You've heard of accent walls. We're going with accent curtains. Accent curtains. We so it'll be light out the windshield. Prettier than just one solid thing all together. So now we just have to put the pens in the top and then this one can go out to the RV and be done. Yeah, let's go do that before we start on the next one to make sure everything works. I agree. Here we go, the moment of truth. Go for it. But it's nice and dark in here with these. No light shows in. Are you happy? I'm happy if you're happy. Works for me. Okay, it works for me too. These are the hooks that go into the uh, rings on the track. And there's a pin on the back of it that you put here and thread it through so that it attaches to the machine or to the track. curtain. And we have quite the helper. Yeah. Are you a big helper? He's tired of us working on this. He wants us to be done. Huh? You're not paying any attention to me for two days. Finish already. We're finished. Now we just have to hook it up. And then we'll see how it goes. I have one thought. I'm not doing any more sewing projects for this RV okay. trip. Done. I think it looks great, but I have a knot in my head from where I bonked myself on the t dining room table, and I'm not a happy camper this afternoon. I'm glad this one's done. Probably could have been and then like two inches shorter and they'd lay better, but I don't care at this point. No, we're good. I think they look good. That's awesome. Well, despite this curtain project being really overwhelming for the weekend, we do have one exciting bit to share with you as well. We got our new comforter for the bed. It's not a comforter, it's a quilt, but it's quite lovely. And we picked out a new blanket at Costco to complement it and our new uh, sheets that we got this summer there. And these were really in the picture. They looked yellow, but when it got here, it was green. And actually, I'm happy about that. I think it looks much better. So matches this little curtain that we have here that you can't really see without the light on. But it's quite lovely. We're pleased. So... We're almost done with all of these projects. Just a few more things left to do. We're gonna be hitting the road pretty soon. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and keep an eye out for further updates on planning and preparing for the North American road trip.